even with their phones, it's unbelievable how bad they are. I was driving on 95 going north and I pulled over for gas and I went in a public restroom and there's a guy in the stall doing a number two talking to his mother on the phone. <laughs> and the bathroom, it echoes. He's like, Mom, Mom, I just stopped for gas. And I'm like, all right, what kind of gas? <laughs> So he's so loud, I knock on the stall. I said, uh, excuse me, can you do me a favor? So he goes, w what? I said, could you put that on speaker so I could hear the whole conversation? <laughs> and you know what he says to me? He goes, what are you, a fucking comedian? <laughs> so I said, what are you, a psychic? <laughs> so, just with the phones. My nieces are like that too with the phones. They're phone snobs, I got five nieces. They're like, oh, Uncle Johnny, what kind of phone do you have? I said, I have an iPhone 5. You have an iPhone 5? Did you lose your job? <laughs> so I can call any way you can call, you little bastard. They gotta have the latest, the greatest this. They're, they're so typical kids, they're offended by everything. You can't say anything. I went to a barbecue the other day, and my niece is there, and I'm talking to my sister. I said, hey, uh, Janice, Aunt Marie gained some weight, didn't she? My niece goes, I'm offended. That's body shaming. You're body shaming Aunt Maria. I said, relax. It's not like I called her a fat bastard. I just said she gained weight. <laughs> Behave yourself and I'll give you a participation trophy. <laughs> so bad. My wife, me and my wife get in an argument today. The Powerball is $500 million. I don't know if you know that, right? The Powerball is $500 million. I play $20. My wife played $20. She goes, Johnny, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if you win? I said, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with the 500 million. I'm gonna hire two dozen ex-Navy SEALs and I'm gonna get even with everybody. <laughs> she goes, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. She goes, I would buy an island in the Caribbean where you and I could retire and drink pina coladas all day. I said, really? Not if my Navy SEALs got you first. <laughs> so she beat the shit out of me and... <laughs> constantly fighting, constantly. Just really over the same thing over the TV. She hates what I watch on TV. I'm into Bigfoot, I'm a Bigfooter. Any Bigfooters out there? <laughs> yeah, you sir? The one guy that looks like Bigfoot. Well, not Bigfoot, you kind of look like Littlefoot. Yeah. I can't, I, I, I've watched, my favorite show is Finding Bigfoot. Seven years, they haven't found one thing. <laughs> it's amazing. These people are unbelievable actors. And my wife goes, I can't believe you watch that crap. She goes, I don't mean to rain on your parade, but let me tell you something. They're not gonna find Bigfoot. <laughs> I said, I know, I know they're not. But if they're looking for Big Mouth, she's right over here. <laughs> So she beat the shit out of me again. And uh, it's been a really rough week. What are you gonna do? Anyway, I'll leave you with this. Uh, they had an announcement in the city. I don't know if you guys used the MTA, the transportation, the buses. Uh, they announced that they have to rip the seats out of the buses because the people do not fit in them any longer. I have to put in larger seats. Um, just an observation, if you can't fit in the seat in the bus, shouldn't you be fucking walking? 